Okay, today we finally received our NVMe SSD. So this is a Team Group MP33 SSD. It's a PCIe M.2 NVMe drive. I got this on sale. It's a one terabyte version. I got this on sale for $109, I believe, from Amazon. That's Canadian dollars, so it might be cheaper in US dollars. Pretty simple packaging pretty easy to get in nothing magnificent about this I looked up the specs online and out of the lower cost NVMe drives this one really was a very good performer so let's open this up and that's what we get inside I, I can see clearly We'll open it up, we'll see if there's anything interesting. We'll take a look at the device itself. Said use scissors, but that knife did real good. Okay, so there really isn't anything else in here. There's no instructions inside of here, no manual. The instructions are actually just printed here on the back. Insert it, put it down, put a screw in. It's super simple these days. So let's pop it out here. Okay, so it's a computer chip with a sticker on it. If you remove the sticker, the warranty would be void. But I don't see how they'd know if you remove this sticker or not. It's Let's see if we can at least get one chip exposed. So this is an SM. 2263XT chip. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything spectacular about this. We'll put this into the computer and we'll do some speed tests between the other NVMe drives that I have and see how well it performs. I do have another one of these coming. I also have a external USB 3 enclosure for an NVMe drive. It's a Orico one. I think it was 40 bucks or $45. Kind of like this. It's clear. It's got a red uh, heat sink in it. And we'll test the speeds of that as well. So let's plug this in and see how it performs. <laughs> Okay, so we're back in Windows. I just booted up. Let's take a look and see if we can see our new drive. Okay, so it didn't appear right away, which is typical. So let's take a look at our disk management. Okay, so we have a new unrecognized disk. We'll go with a GPT, that's fine. And this is our disk here, unallocated. So we'll just do a new simple volume. I'm gonna pick a drive letter. I'm gonna name it G. And we'll give this a name, the NVMe. So 
So this is the team group NVMe one terabyte. Finish. And there we have it, empty. So this is what we got here. We have, this is a Samsung 970 Evo. This one is an XPG NVMe. And this one here is the team group one terabyte. So let's uh, take a look and see what kind of transfer speeds we get from the Samsung. So what we'll do is we'll just take this. This is a 16 or 17, it's a 16.7 gigabyte file from my it's backup file of my server. And we will drop that onto this and we'll see how fast it is. So 1.3, 1.4, 1.5. That's pretty good speeds from there. That's from the Samsung to the team group. Okay, I'll delete that. Let's see what kind of speed we get to this guy here. So from the Samsung to the XPG, similar speeds. Okay, let's try the XPG to the team group. Not quite as fast. Oh, it's up there. So yeah, the speed did increase 1.5. There was a little bit of a dip there at the beginning. So let's retry that. We get the same dip it looks like right at the beginning of the transfer, but it's, oh, it's sticking there. And then it jumps up. Okay, let's try it reading from, we'll try reading from the team group and onto the Samsung, which is on the desktop. And that gives us a pretty flat oh, lowering as we get to the end of the file. <clears throat> and then we'll try from the team group to the XPG. Mm, the drop occurred much quicker in this one, but it did come back up stabilizing at 1.4. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, we'll do some crystal disk. Oh, the team group one, the temperature has gone up. And my XPG does not show up here. The Samsung is running at a cool 45. A 73 degrees, that is pretty high. Let's look into what a good temperature for NVMe devices. So the operating temperature for this is 0 to 70 degrees and we are already beyond 70 degrees and all we did was oh 80 degrees. I wonder if that's reporting properly. Okay so it just looks like I had an old version of Crystal Disk so I've gotten a download of the latest version Okay, so the version I was using previously was version 7.7 .7, and it did, didn't detect all my disks. So now I'm on 8.12. It detects all the drives and the temperatures are <laughs> within a reasonable amount. Okay, so we'll do a crystal disk mark test. We'll do all the drives and we'll compare them. Okay, so we'll do a testing on, we'll just click the settings for NVMe SSDs. We'll leave it on default and we'll hit the test. Okay, 
this is the results we got after five passes with Crystal Disc Mark on the Samsung 960 Evo. Let's test out our new drive. That's going to be the G drive, which is our team group drive. Okay, letter G. There's our temperatures. Let's give it five runs of the same test. Okay, so these are the results for the MP33 from Team Group. Let's test out our D drive, which is the XPG, and we'll compare those ones. All right, the torture is over. These are the results that we get for each drive. We can put them side to side. Okay, so that's the MP33 from Team Group. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.